Hello and welcome to our beginner's guide to road cycling training. If you are new to the sport of cycling or just looking to get back into it after a break, this video is for you. I'm going to share some tips and tricks on how to get started and make the most out of your road cycling training. So let's get started. Step one, get the right equipment. Before you start road cycling training, it's important to get the right equipment. You don't need the most expensive gear, but you do need some basic items to ensure you have a comfortable and safe ride. You want to be looking for a bike with a lightweight frame, good brakes and gears that suit the terrain you'll be cycling on. You'll need a helmet, cycling shorts, gloves and cycling shoes. These will help prevent blisters, chafing and other common cycling injuries. A lot of newbie cyclists skip over the Lycra cycling shorts. If you are to take one bit of advice from this video, it's to invest in those shorts. You'll thank me later. Step two, start slowly. When you first start your road cycling journey, it's important to take it slow. Don't push yourself too hard or you may end up injuring yourself or even burning out. Start with shorter rides and build up to longer ones as your fitness improves. Try to ride at a pace that allows you to maintain a conversation with someone as this will help you build up your endurance gradually. You'll see in the beginning that you'll quickly progress. Make the most of these improvements and don't try to rush the process. Trust me. Step three, set goals. Setting goals is an important part of any training plan. It helps you keep motivated and focused on achieving something. Start by setting some short-term goals. Maybe competing at a certain distance or increasing your average speed. Then as you progress, you can set more challenging goals such as completing a sportif or even a race. Having something to work towards will help you stay motivated and push yourself to improve. Step four, use a training plan. Using a training plan is a great way to structure your road cycling training and ensure you make progress. There are plenty of training plans available online that cater to the different levels of fitness and goals. Here at Spoked, we are an AI coaching company built by professional coaches for the everyday rider. I'm the founder and I am an ex-professional cyclist myself. And over the years, I've seen countless rubbish training plans. You need something that includes a mix of different types of training, such as endurance rides, hill repeats, and speed work. A good training plan will help you build up your fitness gradually and prevent injury or burnout. Every spoke plan is personalized to you and adapts based on your training progress and personal feedback. It also works around your life with full flexibility built in from the start. Check out the link below in the comments section for more details. Step five, mix up your training. Leading on from the previous point, mixing up your training is essential to prevent boredom and keep your body challenged. If you have access to a different bike, such as a, a mountain bike, then continuing to ride that will only be beneficial. There are multiple benefits, whether it be preventing boredom or just simply improving your technical skills. Step six, fuel your body. Fueling your body is important to ensure you have enough energy to complete your training. Before a ride, make sure you have a balanced meal that is high in carbohydrates. During longer rides, aim to eat small snacks every hour to keep your energy levels up. There's a great saying, eat little and often. And after a ride, make sure you eat a meal that includes plenty of protein to help repair your muscles. A good rule of thumb is to aim for 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour of riding, whether this be in energy drinks, gels, or real food. For reference, a banana on average is 20 grams of carbohydrates. Step seven, listen to your body. Finally, it's important to listen to your body. If you feel tired or sore, take a break and rest whatever your training plan says, especially when you can't ride with purpose. Pushing yourself too hard can lead to an injury or burnout, which will set you back. And if you experience any pain or discomfort that persists, seek professional advice. So there you have it, a beginner's guide to road cycling training in five minutes. Remember, road cycling is a fantastic way to improve your fitness, explore the outdoors, and meet new people. By following these tips and tricks, you'll be well on your way to becoming a confident and skilled road cyclist. So grab your bike and head out for a ride. Are you an experienced rider? If so, in the comments below, let us know what you wish you knew when you first started out. 
Equally, feel free to ask any questions, however silly they sound.